really that good because he's going to be going up against Cheese King. Um, so let's see what happens. In the 9 o'clock position, it's going to be from Cascade, Death Mask, our yellow pro horse player. And his opponent down to the southeast side is going to be the red pro horse from Team MIA. It's going to be Cheese King. Both players are going to be scouting in the incorrect direction to begin with. It's a little bit unfortunate for both, but um, not really too much to see super early on. And both probes are going to get into that main base of their opponents at a time where they're still going to be able to get that early information which they're going to be looking for. Unless, and I mean, of course, free player map, so we're not expecting any kind of early gateway proxies or anything. So as these probes come in, uh, the Death Mask probe will come in here first, get a little bit of information about Cheese King, have a look to see what he wants to do, and we already see a second gateway being added on for Cheese King here. And uh, of course, Cheese King in PvP. If you've seen him play before, you'll know he really does like to play aggressively. He is um, he is a big, big aggressive player. So um, you know, stuff like free gated attacks is something which he does all of the time. So we'll see if Death Mask is maybe going to be able to uh, realize this. And you always see Chrono Boost going into that walk gate, which is something you don't always see. So yeah, Death Mask for now just going to wait to see what happens. Just going to hit nibble away at this gateway in. It's been a little bit annoying until this first stalker comes out back at home. His own first stalker is on the way. And he's about to drop down his tech here. Or is it going to be another gate? It's going to be a second gateway as well. So he's also going to go into two gateways here early on. He didn't quite have enough gas for any tech. So second gateway coming up. And it's going to be interesting because, I mean, Cheese King will get to three stalkers faster because his second gateway has finished a kind of a better time for doing that. As you can see, it kind of lined up. So the second and third stalker start at the same time. And as always, Chrono Boost goes into his warp gate. He really is going to be looking to hit this timing at some point in the near future. There's our third gateway too. But a third gateway also coming down for Deathmask. So we're going to see three gates against three gates here early on. With Deathma as Deathmask just checks around a little bit with these couple of stalkers. Looking to see if he can find anything. And he's trying to boost out his stalkers here. He's back at home. She's going to goes into a stargate. Which is something he really does like to do with this sort of play. Just go into the stargate and... Follow up Oracle to try and do some damage and catch his opponent off guard a bit. Nice uh, movement forwards here by Death Mask, able to pick off uh, a lot of health on that first Stalker. And uh, also Nelly getting that probe, but not quite. And we'll just sit here and try and get some damage onto this pile and try and kill that off before our uh, Cheese King is ready to fight. And as you can see, Death Mask doesn't want to overcommit though. And he's just going to try and kill it. He's going to get it before them Stalkers warp in, which is brilliant. And now he moves up the ramp and he's going to be able to just fall back to a couple more Stalkers popping out from very shortly and a warp gate tech coming in here as well very soon as uh, time roll comes in but completely misses from De from death mask and cheese uh, from cheese gang sorry and death mask with his front and overcharge up here gonna be able to just sit defensively and get his own gateways moved into warp gates and even start making an immortal to so get into a very nice defensive position cheese King yet to use that stargate which he started up back at home so we're actually gonna see um, death mask attack into this army now and try and get a little bit of damage done he picks off the mothership core gets a stalker as well and uh, Cheese King actually has to warp in a couple of zealots there. As um, he needs that little bit of extra defense. As we're probably about to see one of these zealots get picked off as Cheese King continuously being uh, pushed back here by Death Mask. That photo of charge does expire right now, but the immortal is out, and that's all he's going to need to completely make sure he's going to be okay here in this fight. Stalkers not going to be able to do too much here on their own, and with that immortal as well, they just take things down, uh, take units down, uh, they just die so quickly. And uh, this pylon is going to be killed off. And Deathmask definitely comes out of this with an advantage. With an immortal already up, he's in a pretty alright position here um, as it stands. So he's going to start moving across the map and we'll see what he can maybe try and get done with this move out. So just begin to move forward here with these stalkers. And there's a mortal as well as she's going to turn around and try and fight. Now he does have an oracle coming up out of this stargate, which he made much earlier in this game. And uh, now using a 2-4 back up on. So this Oracle going to start moving across. And if he can just keep these Stalkers out in the middle of the map from Death Mask, he's going to be able to get into the main base for the Oracle. There's going to be nothing in position to defend it. And it's going to rack up quite a few kills, which are kills which he, he really does need at this point. Uh, sitting at a 5 worker deficit compared to his opponent is not a position he wants to be in. So the sooner he can even that up, the better. And here we go, that Oracle into the main base right now. Two kills already. And uh, continues to rise as he now evens up the worker count with five workers killed. Forgetting about it here for just a little bit though and wasting a lot of its energy on the assimilator. 
finally comes in and uh, doesn't have enough energy for another uh, probe, so a little bit unfortunate at the end. There's some cells coming here as well, going to try and get a cancel on this Nexus, and looks as though he might be able to. Because at the same time, Deathmask trying to do something over towards his opponent's main, but Force Field is perfectly placed with a uh, star uh, for Voidway coming out. He's not going to be able to get anything done, as Cheese King's going to be able to kill this off, or is he? Maybe not, actually. This is going to be very close. This Nexus has like four hits left on it, and it goes down. Wow. So, Nexus actually completely killed off here. This army having to retreat from his opponent's base, and Deathmask is going to have to come back here and just be like, well, GG. <laughs> okay, maybe not GG. Um, a probe comes forward here as well. And he's going to be popping down the uh, Nexus in a few moments time. Um, to try and re-expand right now. And there it is, Nexus coming down. Oracle coming back in as well on 6 kills in total right now. We'll be looking to add to that a little bit more. But a little bit of miscontrol here means that that Oracle is playing with the... Uh, you know, really playing very riskily. Doesn't want to lose that. There's a few units just moving out and killing off a pylon here will supply block cheese king momentarily. A couple of units left up here as well. They need to try and find their way back home or find their way to uh, to this army, which is beginning to cross them up. So Death Mask might uh, have to get himself into a bit of a defensive position in a moment or two because Cheese King is going to be looking to attack here once again, setting up these pylons aggressively, and he has a couple of void rays, which will be able to help out. Void rays do very good again. You know, generally Starcade is better than uh, Robo. Um, in terms of early game, and this is essentially still early mid game. There's still kind of an early mid game push at this point, and Cheese King gonna be looking to come in here. That being said, you know Phoenix might have been a better choice to just take these immortals out of the equation completely, and uh, maybe even pick up the sentries beforehand, so this doesn't happen. Where he kind of gets trapped behind force fields and isn't actually able to make his way up into this expansion of uh, Death Mask, which is now finishing up once again, and Death Mask with a couple of worker advantage. Gets caught in a time warp here, but another couple of force fields. And both these guys trading fairly evenly on units. As uh, Oracle comes in, that's going to go down. And she's going to keep on trying to break this here. He is about a 10 army supply advantage. And as their phone overcharges pops, as she's going to just begin to commit, the force fields come down. And it's going to keep these immortals from firing onto the stalkers. Keeps them far enough away. And this uh, Nexus is going down very, very quickly. Another couple of force fields to keep this army back. But as the Nexus disappears... That was kind of acting as one big force field there. And there isn't any force fields to keep this army from chasing this down. So, Cheese King now in a little bit of trouble. And he's actually going to turn around to fight this. Time warp coming down. All these stalkers going to be able to do enough, I suppose, is the question. As Mothership falls as well for Death Mask. But Cheese King has taken so much damage down about 15 supply right now. As well as the fact he's down a few workers as well in his army supply. So, even if he gets away here, it's not going to be easy for him to kind of turn this around. And uh, this is kind of smart. Moving them forward over to the left hand side. Yes, he might lose a centre or two, but the Voyagers are much more important to keep alive because even if they don't transfer transition well to the later stages of the game, and you know if they don't kind of uh, you know power, you know if they you know Voyagers aren't great as the game goes on, right? They they kind of fall off in terms of performance. So to keep them alive though is still kind of nice because you know a couple of Voyagers having a bit of extra DPS is better than just having two dead Voyagers based for no reason. So. They're going to try and loop back around here and get back towards the main with the rest of this army, but Death Mask is now sitting at the bottom of Cheese King's ramp, and again, for the third time this game, he's going to attempt to take his natural. So an attempt to get into his natural here is uh, the uh, War Prism. Actually starting to arrive, boost units up in towards the main base, and uh, going to look to see if he can maybe get something done with this, as uh, War Prism is going to be able to come in here as well, but not if the War Prism gets killed off. And that means Death Mask, all of his units are going to be trapped in his main right now. And the problem is, these Void Rays, I mean, it's just too many Void Rays for him to really be able to contest with without further warp ins. Almost definitely. And what was looking to be a very cute play out of Death Mask is suddenly becoming very, very nasty and very expensive. Because he is not going to kill a single Void Ray once again. And he's going to lose his entire army. And Cheese King moves up to a 30 supply army advantage over 13. And moving across the map now, going to be looking to try and perhaps finish this game, maybe even. Like, Death Mask is in a little bit of trouble here. He's starting to move out with a few Stalkers once again. And I guess he's maybe looking for this pylon. He does find his Zalip opening. And as uh, these Void come in, now also this uh, pylon not going down just yet. But he's going to have to turn away. He's starting to lose his Stalkers. And all he's got coming up in his uh, production tab is a few more stalkers and a Twilight Council. So, 
this is really, really not looking good at all for Deathmask, who again, 20 army supply down, is going up against these Void which just, can just deal so much damage with that Prismatic alignment popped, and they're going to keep on chasing back in towards his natural expansion, is where Deathmask is going, and for the third time, this Nexus is going to be killed off, so, I mean, Deathmask, when is he going to realise that he doesn't need to try and end the game so quickly, he just needs to sit back and defend on his extra base, and taking advantage from it. He's still seven workers up here in this game. He's gonna lose another pylon, but he has 20 supply down in total, and at this point, I don't know if there's a way for him to stop. Cheese King from just, well, doing what exactly what he's doing, which is come up this ramp and look to end the game, I suppose. Blink is halfway done. Maybe you can get Blink out. So he may be able to make something happen. As, um, again, Cheese King unsure as to how exactly he wants to engage this. For an overcharge is gonna be popped now. Just getting the energy for that in time, and this will once again get Deathmask a little bit of uh, time to try and find himself a way out of this. But um, the Stalkers, I guess Stalkers with the Blink upgrade are maybe going to be enough to do this because with so many Zealots, if the Stalkers can just avoid fighting the Zealots, the rest of the army from Cheese King will go down very quickly. But it's going to be very hard to make that happen from Deathmask. So he's going to have to look to engage very well here, especially considering, again, the army supply deficit. Another Sandry, another couple of Zealots moving forwards and. I'm going to look to see what they can add into this as I'm going to see the warp isn't being made by Deathmask so maybe looking for some counter attack damage while Cheese King is sat over here on his side of the map in his very own natural. Cheese King going to commit forwards here and going to look for some Sorga kills but he's going to lose a Vaudray in the process and uh, Sorgas will continue to fall very quickly. There's some more force fields come down as Forge going to get targeted not upgrading anything on there so not the biggest of losses. As uh, Cheese can continue to move forward, he's going to keep going through these force fields, I suppose. This is our next question, but it looks as though he's um, just going to stop as uh, Stalkers do blink forward with that blink finishing now. And he is able to pick off both all of the Void Rays, and now he's starting to pick off the Stalkers as well. And if he kicks down the Stalkers, he can just blink away from the Zealots and just kite them all day long. And moving around now, it looks as though he might very well just be looking to do that. As um, he's going to blink on top of this Stalker coming in as a reinforcement. and. Deathmask with this blink might have just turned this game around for himself and you know maybe if Cheese King hadn't waited so long initially just gone straight into this base and tried to shut down Mothership Core before the photo overcharge came out could have looked so different Chrome's being pulled now both players are on pretty much no mining at all and it's time to start long distance mining in all honesty so which Cheese King isn't doing yet which again could definitely be helping him Stalks have blunked back up to the high ground now and they're going to give chase once again and um, the force field is actually hurting um, she's getting quite a lot here because he can't get to the stalkers, which is what he really needs to try and reach. A lot of probes going down, down to 14 workers, but Deathmask now pulls them away. He blinks down, he's going to pick off another stalker, and from this point, this should be game, surely. Now, surely he doesn't move across the map and somehow lose it once again, especially considering they're pretty much pretty much both mined out. Oh, there's even a warpism over here. Pro probe along too, just in case he had to build anything in case of a base trade, I guess. But this is so smart because completely mined out in the main base, so all Cheese King can do is mine from his natural. And that's something he, he's just not going to be able to do. Whereas at least Deathmask can long distance mine if he would like to. So this is um, probably going to be game over, I think, as these Stalkers come this, to the side ground. There's nothing left for Cheese King at all. He's going to pull the probes away. He's waiting to warp in a sentry or two. Try and, I guess, get a couple of force fields, but I mean, there is Blink, so it's going to be very hard. Maybe just pop Guardian Shield. So let's continue with backwards. A couple of Zards being warped in here as well. My Voidway popped his Prismatic alignment, but didn't get anything done with it at all, which, again, not great. As uh, Forza comes down the ramp, trying to stop these Stalkers with his Zard and Walkers, and giving the high ground vision, allowing them to blink up here, allowing them to chase down that Voidway, which is going to go down as far as Cheese King's hope for this game. And that gives Cascade a point onto that board, onto the scoreboard, and.